Hello everybody. I'm working on a Aquas TV made by Sharp and um, I thought I'd share my findings with you today. Hope you can read the model number. If not, I'll put it in the comments later on. But anyway, this is the Sharp Aquas. It's a 60 inch uh, um, TV. The problem we're having with this thing here today, as you can see on the flashing light, is we got three long flashes and one short and there's no picture no backlight no sound nothing when you press the power button you can see the green light come on the power board and then you see the power light come on solid but there's no backlight or anything so I looked around on the internet trying to see if I can find any um, tips or tricks that somebody may have already um, found and applied for this TV but nothing yet so I got to looking and poking around since there was no information on the internet anywhere and decided to um, figure it out myself and um, the main the main board uh, the power supply it is getting power but it's not completely powering up everything so the problem is with the um, with the um, power supply. Now earlier I did read some notes that said to um, disconnect the ribbons for the screen because the flashing code was supposedly relating to um, a communications problem from the screen to the to the computer board. And so I isolated them. First I took them both loose and I did, there was no change and then I just hooked up one at a time there was no change. I did get a different code whenever I disconnected this main ribbon cable and got a different flashing code, which I can't remember. But anyway, the T-Con board is not uh, the problem and neither is the um, the main board. And so, with the problem being here on the power supply board, I figured out I'm not getting voltage as I did a pin check on my ribbon cable and don't know if you can see it real good, but on certain pins I wasn't getting no voltage and also there was um, had no luck getting any um, schematics or anything else on the internet so of course I had to take on this um, challenge myself so I did find out what the problem is and I did trace it down to a single regulator on the board and um, it's this one right here there you can see it right there is a little four pin regulator and um, this is actually pin one pin two pin three and pin four and because the regulator is mounted upside down on the back of this heat sink so um, with the power on I should be getting I should be getting um, a raw DC plus which should be I, th I think I measured around 13 volts earlier I could put it there and you can see right there I got a good 13 13 volts this regulator is actually a 12 volt regulator this pin 2 is supposed to be where I'm getting my voltage out and of course you can see yeah, sorry about that as you can see it's just only getting uh, millivolt readings and and of course this third pin that's ground of course we got a good ground and the fourth pin this is the turn on voltage which turns the regulator on and off and as you can see down here we got a good 2.6 volts and that's what turns the regulator on and so here I've written down my findings on pin when I got 13 uh, this is the output which is missing the ground is okay and the turn on voltage is okay so I've determined that this regulator here is bad so I'm gonna go ahead and um, replace this regulator real quick and uh, we'll go from there okay um, I did forget to mention one thing whenever you whenever this board is disconnected um, you want to be very careful at handling it since the voltage regulator is not operating there's nothing to drain the stored up power in these big capacitors and as you can see they're about 
that are they're rated at 400 to 450 volts so you want to discharge those before you handle the board because it can really light you up and here I'm going to demonstrate there you go they weren't charged it wasn't charged up too bad so that was a good thing so those are the only whole high voltage um, capacitors everything else is um, on the secondary side here it's not not an issue so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this board now and we're gonna go ahead and change this regulator and then we're gonna come back and see what kind of results we get which I'm positive they're gonna be positive okay so we got the regulator replaced on the board here and so now I'm gonna go ahead and power it up as you can see a little power light come on look at that got backlight already look how it lights up yeah we're working now it lights on solid and um, we're gonna go ahead and check some voltage here here just uh, just to show okay so the first pin we had 13 volts earlier as you can see right there okay now pin 2 was dead when let's look at it now we got uh, 12 volts regulated that's what was that's what was missing and of course we got the 2.6 and all so everything's good now the TV's lit up um, as you can see and the power light stays on solid that has repaired the problem and um, the CPU board has got a happy little blink to it now okay I don't have a lot of experience with the with this TV here but I, I did find the problem and so that's what I'm sharing with you and again this is for the Aquas um, TV made by Sharp the model is the LC-60 letter L letter E 650 using uniform and um, this was the fix for the TV that little regulator and that um, it fixes that three slow one fast blink and uh, I'm gonna put, I ain't got much room to work on uh, the TV here but as you can see it's working so I appreciate the comments that you all might leave and I'm always happy to share something that I find and um, I'm always happy whenever I find some information and somebody shares it so go ahead we're gonna turn the TV off now everything's gone out the lights gone out everything's all happy and happy now I'm gonna put this back where it belongs and um, and there you go all right thanks for um, watching my video